We have new information tonight about the family of the suspected Long Island serial killer. The lawyer for Rex Hewerman's family revealed today the suspect's estranged wife is undergoing treatment for cancer. Her insurance is about to run out because the policy is in Hewerman's name. And he is behind bars after being arrested for the murders of three women and possibly a fourth. This, as we learn, a surprising person has reached out to help the family. Joining us now, live on Long Island, with more is News Nation national correspondent Sloan Glass. Hey, Sloan. Elizabeth, that surprising source is the daughter of the happy face serial killer. She created a GoFundMe to help offset some of the medical costs that Ellerup is accumulating because of her cancer treatment. Now, it's unusual for a family member of anyone accused of the nature of the crimes that Hurman has been charged with to speak so openly, but we continue to learn more about the Hurman household. Two families intertwined after their lives were upended. They have a unique bond that hopefully none of us ever will have. Her dad was arrested. Uh, I should say that Melissa Moore's dad was arrested when she was 16 years old, and they came on to be known as the Happy Face Killer. Um, so it's a situation where her life was turned upside down the way Oscar and her children's were turned upside down. So they bonded on that. The daughter of the Happy Face serial killer setting up a GoFundMe for accused serial killer Rex Huberman's estranged wife, Asa Ellerup. As Ellerup's attorney, Robert Macedonio, reveals his client is battling cancer. And as he shares never before seen photos of the inside of the Huberman home. Rooms stacked to the ceiling with boxes and drains pulled from the sink. Ellerup says this is how investigators left the family home after their nearly two week search, leaving her and her two adult children without a bed to sleep in. The family attorneys announcing the plan to file a legal claim. This precautionary take to file the claim is it because you guys are preparing to file a suit. We're still sorting through what claims they may or may not have and what damages have been done and where she where her rights may need to be protected. Longtime attorney John Ray, who represents the families of two other victims found on Long Island, had this to say. It's been said that some of them, some of their belongings were in pieces. And quite honestly, what does that matter? What about how many pieces Karen, Valerie, Jessica were found in? Asa Ellerup's legal team says that she has not been contacted by law enforcement. They have not heard from anyone in law enforcement since her husband was arrested. Police believe that she and her children were traveling at the time that they believe the murders were committed, and neither she nor her children have been named as suspects. Elizabeth. All right, Sloan, thank you so much. And thanks so much for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.